Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Viewing the Australian dollar, the market is still attempting to restage at least another attempt to the upside. But I still feel, from a technical aspect, the market will fail towards that 70 cent handle. Now, locked in the range of 69 cents to 70 cents, there is stops above 70.05, I believe, due to the fact is that the many attempts that we've seen could be building above this level. So do be on your guard and still continue to adjust your stop loss and take profit according to your risk management in the event of a break. However, as I mentioned, the technical aspect is from the MACD supporting a downward case. And therefore, as long as we don't break above and close above 70.05, then I'm looking for a challenge at least to 69.15 and see if the market can take that level out. If it does, it does expose the region of 68 cents. After many attempts at the level of 113.40.50, you can see the market is still respecting that level. On the flip side, is the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, is still holding at 96.00. I do feel, from a technical aspect, that we haven't quite fully broken down yet, looking at the RSI as it holds at the midway point. So the call is not as strong as it was towards the end of last week, due to the last two candles. Nevertheless, as long as we maintain underneath 113.40.50, or at least and not seeing a close from New York above this level could see further risk to the downside. But still a lot of confirmation to the downside case. So therefore, I'm seeing how the market starts off to the start of this week as the bias is a little bit more of an upstep towards the upside. Let's see if the market can break down and initially take out the support, which is somewhere around this region of around 112.7080. And if so, then could see a drop back towards the 111 range. The dollar yen story is still negative, and since the close under 107 from New York on Friday, the market is poised for a further down test. I believe that we are looking at 106, figure 40, and if you are trading from the top side of that range, still continue to adjust your stop loss and take profits according to your risk management in the event of an un unexpected rebound in front of this level of 106, figure 40, like we saw previously. The pound is still pushing towards that top side of the range. And at the moment, I see it at 126.80 to 95. We are overbought. And therefore, I do believe, like previously at this region, the technicals did support a very heavy decline. Now, since the bullish divergence, this market has been very much in terms of a bull case and still holding towards the upside of this range here, as you can see. But there is still some element to the fact that we are overbought, as I mentioned, and the MACD is somewhat struggling here. So we could see a rejection from 126.8095 and look back towards the support somewhere around the mid-125 region. Little to say about dollar CAD. It's still trading sideways and the technicals aren't giving me much to come out with any call. And therefore, I'd rather sit out and be neutral at these present levels. And talking of neutral, I'm still neutral for gold. Since, my break, since the break of 1,788 and the nine-year high of 1,817 is the fact is that we do need to see a break of 1,795 to support another downward step. The market is extremely, in terms of, uh, that is, the ADX trend is uh, overheating since the break above 40. But I'm going to be sitting out at the moment to no view, just waiting to see where we close. Under 1,795, that is, in New York, close beneath this level would give some concern to the bear case. Wrapping up with oil, little to say. The fact is the market is just a little bit jittery as we come into this week's OPEC meeting. The market is still main, maintaining the cap around that 41 to 41 and a half. So let's, let's see, we can get a pullback to $36 a barrel, which has been the call now for some time. Well, that's a wrap for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intro, Paul, and hope you enjoy the great start to this new day.